welcome to my youtube channel today i'm sharing my five minute everyday makeup look and i'm not much of a makeup guru but this is just something i do on an everyday basis so whether i'm waking up in the morning and going to school or heading out for some errands it's just something i like to do to show the more natural pink tones in your face and this is just something my mom always taught me when you know showing me how to use makeup as a teenager and if you want to see how i got this look just keep watching so first you want to start off with a tinted moisturizer and my favorite one is this laura mercier tinted moisturizer that i've been using for almost five years now and what i really like about it is that it gives me this tan natural glow and it's super convenient in the morning if i don't have any time to put makeup on so i'll at least just put tinted moisturizer on and it'll do the double purpose of a sunscreen moisturizer and color all in one. So next I'm going to take a concealer in a shade that's slightly lighter than my skin tone and I'm just going to apply it under my eyes and on my chin, on top of my mouth and any other blemish spots I might see that the tinted moisturizer didn't get. Since the tinted moisturizer is such a thin layer, you know, it's not like foundation so you'll want to go in and add the concealer for extra coverage. So then I just take my brush and I blend it everywhere just to make sure that my face looks like one even color palette so it can be ready to put any extra like bronzer or blush soon. And as you see, I'm just making these circular motions all around and not dabbing too hard. That way the product doesn't come off easily. Now I'm going to take some white translucent powder and I'm going to take the same brush just for the sake of simplicity and apply it under my eyes. And this is a really good way to make sure that the concealer stays on your eyes throughout the day. And you know, you want to do it in light strokes and you would want to tap off the white powder if there was too much. And I'll just go ahead and put this on top of all the spots that I put concealer on just to make sure it does stay throughout the day since I did mention earlier that tinted moisturizer isn't as thick as foundation. Next, I'm going to take this eyebrow gel and just put that all over my eyebrows. Um, I do like to kind of let them grow out, but the eyebrow gel helps it stay in place. And afterwards, I'll go ahead and take in like a little gray marker and just fill in those little extra spots. Uh, it looks better than, you know, using a dark brown. So make sure to go a lighter shade than your actual brow color. Then I'm just going to brush my brows through and make sure they look even. Next, I'm going to take a giant brush so I can put on my bronzer and blush. And I love to use this L'Oreal compact palette. I received it because, you know, it has all of it in once. And I just like to mix all three of them and make myself look a bit more glowy, natural. So yeah, I'll go ahead and put it all over my cheeks, a little bit on my nose, my forehead. Just get all those core areas that the sun would have naturally hit. Next, I'm going to take my favorite Urban Decay palette and I love to use the little dark and light pink shades on it. And I really just take the brush it comes with and dab it all over the outside crease of my eye on there. Afterwards, I love to take the Chanel mascara and go all over my eyelashes. And what's nice about this one is it doesn't make it clumpy, but it still makes them look long. So this is a really good mascara or I mean any other black mascara that is not too thick. Uh, and I'll just make sure to line the bottom of my eyes as well so you look more awake and try not to make a mess on my eyes. Afterwards, I'm gonna take a brown eyeliner and just line the bottom of my eyes to add that more awake and bigger eye look for this everyday look. Lastly, I'm gonna to top off my lips with the YSL Light Pink Sheer Lipstick and I love using this one because it makes you look glowy and I just love the look it gives me and I feel ready to go whenever I have it up. So this is my final look. Please let me know if you enjoyed this video and let me know what other content ideas you have below, whether it's like other beauty looks or makeup looks. And I can't wait to share more with you guys.